another DIY video. You guys know how much I love ampersands, so today I'm going to take you step by step through making this really cool 3D chalkboard ampersand. So you're going to start out with a paper pattern, which I taught you how to make in this video right here. And you don't have to do an ampersand, you can do a letter or a symbol or any shape that you want. I decided to make an ampersand in Gotham Bold at about 12 inches tall, but you can do anything that you like. So once you have your paper pattern cut out, trace it onto a piece of cardboard. Cut that out and now you have the front of your ampersand. Now to make the sides, take another piece of cardboard and cut it into long strips. I made mine one and a half inches wide. Your cardboard doesn't have to be this long, you're just going to need enough strips to go all the way around the edges of your shape. And you're going to want to cut your cardboard strips against the grain so that the long sides look like this and then the short side looks like this. And that's going to make it way easier to bend so it can go around curves. So cut down your cardboard to about the length the strip has to be starting with your inside shapes. And then use your hot glue gun to glue the strips down right on the edge of the cardboard. And once you've gone all the way around you can add one more layer of hot glue to make it really really sturdy. So keep doing this on all of the interior shapes and then go all the way around the outside. If you need a little more support on some of the edges you can cut little pieces of cardboard that look like this and then just glue those in. And make sure to start a new strip of cardboard at every corner and then to glue the edges of the corners together. So once you're done gluing all of the strips onto your ampersand, the hard part is over. Now it's just time to decorate. I decided to paint mine white and then after that I put a coat of chalkboard paint on it. But you can also just paint it any color you like or decorate it in any way that you like. If you decide to go the chalkboard route, let the chalkboard paint dry overnight and then the next day you can prime the chalkboard paint by drawing all over it with a piece of chalk. And then just wipe that down with a damp towel and this just keeps it clean so that the first thing you draw doesn't become kind of a ghost image underneath everything else that you draw. So that's about all there is to it. Now you can draw any design you want and you can also change it up as often as you like. So this would look great in a kids room if you made the first letter of their name or you could also hang it up on the wall by just putting in a small nail and then it just hangs right up. to see more typographic home inspiration, I actually made another eBay list with some of my favorite typographic home decor items. You can check out my collection by clicking the link right down below and I would love to see any collections that you guys make too. And as Tyler Oakley would say, eBay gave me the hookup to pass on to you. They gave me two more $25 eBay gift cards. So you can actually buy a couple of those things that you pick out for your collections. So if you want to enter, just post a link to your eBay collections right down below, and the two people who make my favorite collections will each be the winner of one of these gift cards. Even if you entered last time, feel free to enter again, and I will be deciding the winner one week from today. So let me know, if you were to make something like this, what would you make? Would you make an ampersand? Would you make a different letter? What would you draw on the front? So if you missed my last DIY video, I made these really cool hot air balloons decoration things. Um, they're awesome. You can watch it right here. Or if you want more graphic design goodness, I made a tour of my entire graphic design bookshelf, which you can watch right here. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!